Hello and welcome back. I've been waiting for the rain to stop. It's been so heavy I couldn't film because of the sound of it. Anyway, I'm back and we're doing the kitchen clean for the second week of zone cleaning in an apartment. All part of designing your life and making sure that we automate all the stuff that sort of, you know, it has to be done but maybe isn't great fun so that we have much more time for play. If you're new to my channel, I'm Deirdre, welcome along. Please subscribe if you'd like to put a bit more play into your life. And I know cleaning kitchens doesn't sound like it's play, but believe me, it's better than having it get really, you know, disgusting and not staying on top of it. So we're getting rid of all the automating things first. So automate everything so that you just don't have to think about it. Okay, I'm not going to spend an forever and a day here. It's a Saturday um, and it's, well, actually there's not a lot else I could be doing right now. So it's a good thing to do. What have I been doing this week? Nothing really exciting. Um, freed up some time, which is good, so I'll be able to attend to you all more. I am even considering doing a vlog. <laughs> not sure if I'm ready to do that yet or not. Yes, I know I'm cutting off my head. It's all right, the world won't end. Not much in there. Um, so yeah, uh, that's something I'm thinking about. I'm going to be working on my website and I'll be working on blogging again, which is something I haven't done in years. In fact, I sort of closed my old blog down when I switched to WordPress.org. But I'm thinking, yeah, that's definitely going to come back again. And what else? Not a lot. Finished a really interesting job with a friend, which was good. I think we're all happy with the outcome. And we had a lot of fun in the, as well along the way, didn't we, Andy? So that was good. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been a good week. Okay, I'm going to turn you around. I'm going to start by having just a quick round in the kitchen, which I'm sure you will remember because you've been here before and it's not the largest kitchen in the world, which I love, having had one of the largest kitchens. Having designed it myself, do you think I'd ever do that again? I love the small kitchen. Sometimes I could do with a little bit more counter space, but that's about it. Honestly, I can manage, you know, it's not so difficult. There are a few things I need to fix, a few little things I need to do a long way, but mainly I need to clean it because it looks fine. Of course, as soon as I start to film, I see things that I really should do before I do a deep, deep clean. Like I really need to sand and refill and paint these door frames. But I'm not going to, not this afternoon. But all the cabinets need a good clean. The window needs cleaning. And of course now it was clean on the outside. It's not now because it's just been rained on. Oh, I got this um, really nice candle today, which I just put on. It's by Sand and Fog, and it's called Teakwood. And uh, it wasn't an expensive candle, but gosh, it smells fabulous. I need to do something with the microwave to make it go back in a bit further. And then, of course, it's just the pantry. It's not too bad. All my coffee pods are in there. I really need to find a better way of storing them. Still looks basically okay. Let me sort this out and we'll get it done. I forgot to take you inside the refrigerator. It is looking a bit on the sparse side. Look, that's there all the nuts I've got. Got sort of cheese and dairy stuff, which I'll try not to have a lot of. Really low on the fruit, half an avocado, bottle of wine, that always helps. And into the fridge I'll go. Very simple dust uh, tidy up up there so now it's these ones along here see that's where I've been storing my coffee capsules now that's not going to work is it those bowls shouldn't be there then it's tea and chai tea and all sorts of different teas which do get used it's wasted space there this one is just general storage of things and what do you do with this space on either side of the hood I mean it needs cleaning that's for sure and I like to keep you know a torch there case of blackouts. This side, once again, um, things that really need to be in different places. I think I'll just pull them out, put them on the bench top. You see what I mean? The kitchen looked fine, but it really wasn't. This has always been an issue. And you know, over here I've got things, you know, it's just a random 
it's too high is actually the problem for me but not to worry um yeah i'm gonna pull them out put them on the counter yes i know there's not much counter don't laugh and we'll see what's up there i have a really lovely cup and saucer that i use frequently and that's for an espresso if i'm feeling like being nice to myself this is my i'm having a cup of herbal tea glass beautiful glass so I'm definitely keeping those two within reach. On this shelf, because I've just tidied the ones above, um, I've just got tea, because one must have tea. This is a jar of my favorite um, chai. Oh, it smells, it smells divine. Hello, Janet. Janet and I have an addiction to this, um, and we never remember what it's called. Next time I see it and buy it, I'll have to write down what it is and tell you, because it is the best chai tea. It's a great little shelf. Um, where'd it come from? Oh, Ikea, of course. Now I've been going for about half an hour just to do that. I know it always takes so much longer than I realise or I think it's going to do. So I'm going to put the kettle on, make myself a cup of tea and have a quick break. one full of all sorts of bits and bobs that I actually use and it will be helpful to get access to them so I'm going to pull them out and see what's here. And there we are um, a range of strainers, a colander, a bowl, my dear little grater, an orange little vase jar thing that doesn't live there, very nice glass bowl in the back, a couple of Corningware casseroles that I do use and then a generic selection of other stuff. I've done that cupboard, it's all clean, and I've just sort of resorted it a little. There's a bit of space up the top. Then a couple of corningware dishes, just because I want to keep them. Simple as that. And down here I've got sort of useful things. Colander and the strainer that I put over the sink when I'm washing up veg, a lot of veg for a bigger meal. A couple of graters and a potato ricer. Over here on this side, I've emptied out the top and I'm just going to empty this out and find a place for these beautiful little casserole dishes and this is what I've taken out. I've taken out um, a little coffee set that we bought years ago in Tuscany and, <laughs> and this is used every year for Christmas ice cream and anything else in between. And it's sort of just like a pressed glass but it's in the shape of walnuts. And there it is, that's that side of the upper cabinet's done. And then I put the little coffee set over with the coffee plunger, which is a sensible place for it, and everything else fits in there perfectly well also. But right now I'm going to take everything off the bench and start cleaning this side. Okay team, it's 11 o'clock on Sunday morning, I'm um, just having my second cup of coffee and then I'm going to get straight back into finishing up this kitchen. So I have to do these drawers, just wipe over the oven, those drawers underneath the sink, yep, wipe the front of the dishwasher. I want to do a quick sort of these cookbooks, um, there are these higher cupboards I need to have a quick look at, clean the bench and quickly go through and do a quick sort of these and then of course vacuum and floor, mop the floor. Uh, straight back into these drawers, inside, inside's fine, look that's just how I am with them. Oh, this one could probably do with a little bit of a sort out, All right that's a bit better. Um, so I have the random ones here, these are actually really nice for ice cream, they were 
IKEA um, ones for Christmas, which is rather fun. Okay, so that's organized and clean. Easy. It's clean, it's tidy, and I can chuck it. This one, a little less so. Okay, this one just looks a bit messy. I'm going to just tidy it up quickly. Okay, that's a bit easier. I probably could do with one of those little lid stacking things, but I don't think it would fit in there. Now we go under the sink. It's pretty much okay because I cleaned it out. This is my recycling, which it's empty. Uh, I just got a few things here. I've got that um, fire keep screen that I used to clean the sink. I've got some dishwashing tablets just in the container there. And the dishwashing liquid just fits into a small one and I always just re, uh, refill the small one, works really well. This is not recycling, I'm, this is when I'm lazy, I use two, um, <laughs> I fill up these for watering the plants, they're really they're just, um, vinegar bottles. There's vinegar at the back which I need to take out because I do need to refill my vinegar and water. Then I've just got a standing little frame at the back and I've got um, extra dishwashing extra little brushes and things and then I've used one basket that I wasn't using I've used it as a stand so I can easily reach over the top so that actually works really well I'll just put those back for now and I'll empty my recycling and I will refill my my little spray bottles with vinegar and water a third of the way filled with vinegar a bit more Then I fill it with just with water. Give a little, a tiny squeeze, like really tiny squeeze of dishwashing liquid. And then what shall I have? Lemon. I think lemon. Oh, lemon's always lemon is always good. I'll give about, I don't know, it's about 10 drops. I can't help but I'll put some orange in as well. Orange is probably my favourite, and I'll put a few drops of both in. Well, that smells fabulous, but also helps to clean. And I'll just top it up a little. Here we go. Ready, good to go. Now I've got to sort out some of these books, um, cooking books. And the floor's dirty, but you knew that. Obviously, I'm not going to do it till the last thing. So I'm going to take these books out, and have a look at them, quickly sort, dust, put them back. A pile, really, isn't it? Right. Annabel Langbean, anything by her, I really enjoy. She's a New Zealand um, cook. I don't think she called herself a chef because she just makes super good fresh food. And in the same ilk is, of course, the Barefoot Contessa. Another person who think um, Annabelle Langbeans are a little less um, heavy on the half and half and the cream. This one I haven't cooked for much, but I think I might this winter because it's a, got some lovely winter recipes. Then we have Chris Carr because um, I'm sure some of you uh, know that I have a type of leukemia. And every now and again I think, oh, I really must look after myself. And yeah, that's, that's the lady I turn to. Who doesn't love Chris Carr? Then... Just um, me putting together for the kids, really, um, all the things that they love. This goes back a very long time. My children happily stamping it. Then there's stuff that my mum wrote out for me. How lovely is that? I have my mum's writing in the back, some things that she sent. Oh, yes, here we are. Hi, Matty. Thank you for drawing, darling. He's um, a quite big man now. Doesn't do that anymore. Um, Donna Hayes, a fabulous Aussie cook, another cook, not a chef. Um, she just makes great food. This was one of her quick books. Love it. Right, well that didn't get rid of many, but you know, I knew it wouldn't. I'll just tidy everything up, pop it all back. Right, last run. What's up in here? Well, I can tell you that they are fine. I'm not going to do anything to those today, and I washed the fronts of them about, oh, I don't know, about a fortnight ago, so I think that's all fine. Then let's have a look in here. This probably does need a bit of cleaning. Yeah, see these get a bit. I clean these uh, 
every now and again, you know, perhaps once a month, but they stay pretty good. I will wipe them up though. And the same down here. It's a wee bit disorganised. I'll tidy that up a little bit. Kitchen measuring cups. Ice cream scoops. Yep, all the standard stuff. Just probably do it wipe. The floor's dirty. You can get the floor. This is a bit of a mess, but there's not much I can do in here. Oh yes, I can. I can wipe it out. Look how dirty it is. Yuck. Okay, I'll wipe that out. Tidy it up. Well, that's cleaner and tidier. The sharpening steel still doesn't go anywhere particularly well. And I've got these three that are effectively empty, but I'll keep them. The pantry, which really I will just tie. Oh, I suppose I could tidy the top slightly. And here we go. Just tidied and I just quickly wiped down this main shelf, which is the one that gets the most use. The reason I have these in a basket is because it gives me all that extra space sort of that's underneath, that's cut away, it sort of extends the shelf. So I put the potatoes into um, just another of those baskets. All tidy, all done. This is if I'm, you know, taking lunch anywhere. All my things there and a shake and various bits and pieces for shakes and some wine and it's done. And there is the finished result. Fridge is tidy, all of the cabinets have been washed, wiped down, given a good scrub. Everything is clean. It doesn't really look a lot different, I know, but I know it is. And I cleaned the window, half sort of cleaned the venetian. I really do need to clean that a bit harder. So I've changed the plug on the microwave so now it nearly fits back completely. It just doesn't look as intrusive. I even went so far as to actually look at the time and change the time on it. Hey, yay, all sorts of miracles. And of course, as you know, it's all clean and tidy in here. Just the way it's meant to be. Just a little bit tidier than it was. That's all. It's all good. So that was a bit of a marathon zone two and the kitchen. I knew it was going to be because it really needed a deep clean and once I'd started I really didn't want to stop. But it was just cleaning, it wasn't a big deal. There wasn't a lot to sort out or get rid of. I just needed to physically go over the whole area and clean it. Uh, and just, you know, get it back from being pretty well used over the Christmas break. So now, next week, and I'll do it during the week, because uh, I've just finished up a couple of jobs, so... Um, I'm actually, I've got some sort of, well, free er time at the moment. So next week I will do this, the zone three, which is uh, for me, uh, for this apartment, it's the master bedroom, but it's also the study. And the study, as you know, is my deep and abiding weakness in this house. It's this, you know, it's where everything ends up. It's like a black hole. It sort of attracts everything into it. Only, unlike a black hole, they then don't disappear. They just circulate and go round and round inside it. And I don't ever seem to get anything out. No matter how much I take out, nothing ever seems to get, you know, it never seems to get less. So, this time I will. So that's going to be the big job for this coming week, is to get the study as close as possible to the way I want to use it. During the morning, of course, then I'll come out here because it's, I'm in the sun, and you know, and it's beautiful and you know, all of the things that make you want to sit and enjoy a particular space. So if you'd like to follow along with zone, we're up to zone three this week coming, um, then please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Most importantly, say hello in the comments below. I love to have your comments. I always try to answer them. And during the week, I'll make a video about play because I think we need to get a bit focused on this play thing now that I'm getting this house cleaning thing sorted for, the, you know, at least the beginning of the year and that makes it easier throughout the year. I hope that whatever you're doing, you're having a wonderful time and I will see you soon. Bye.